All right, everybody. Let, let's see if this works this time. Where's Where's my guest? This is pretty ridiculous, okay? You can't get my guest on here. Now I think I lost everybody. <laughs> and that's some um, lost them all. Bueller, Bueller. All right, and Joker, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's not letting me bring you on. Does anybody know why? Well, that's cool. Hey, I'm upside down. Woo! Hello, Anthony. Anthony, tell me how I bring my guest on the screen here. How do I bring her on the screen? Hi, Buffy. How do I bring my guest on the screen? It's not letting me do it. Anyone? Is anyone even hearing me? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's my phone. Well, she's on. She, hey, Angelica, are you on your phone or are you on your computer? You got to be on your phone. Maybe that's the problem. Thanks, Anthony. There's a white circle next to the comments. There is? Laptop. Oh, Angelica, that's a problem. You gotta be on your phone. Sorry. I thought I'd mention that. That's my error. So we're gonna give Angelica a moment to get on her phone. All right? And uh, yeah, Buffy, she's watching, but she's on her laptop. I forgot to tell her to get on her phone. But she's gonna get on her phone so we can get this awesome show started. In the meantime, how's everybody's day? Okay, you're on the phone. So, should be able to... Hey. Hey, I think it's gonna work. Hold on, hold on. Bam! There she is, everybody, yes. All right, without further ado, we yeah, got Angelica. <laughs> Napolitano. Yes, I may be old, but you can teach an old dog new tricks. Yes. Thank you, Buffy. Thank you, Anthony. I love it. You All could right. have mentioned like hey, 10 everybody. minutes ago, like, hey, maybe you should be on your phone for this. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I just, I wanted to look stupid. All right. Because I like looking stupid in front of the world. So True. that was my error, people. I forgot to mention to Angelica that she needed to be on her phone. She goes by Angel anyway. So Forgot to tell her to be on her phone, not the computer. Yes, please My call phone, me Angel. Oversight. Yeah, you know, where, where, where's makeup crew? I mean, come on, where's, where's my, my, my key grip? My key grip forgot to tell her all this stuff. So, anything. Excellent. Hey, guys. 
I got Angel Napolitano here. She's from Jupiter, Florida. And uh, I'm going to, I got some questions for her, but I'm going to first let her just introduce herself and tell us a little bit about her. And then I got some questions. All right. So, hey, everybody. I'm um, Angelica Napolitano. Just call me Angel, please. I hate Angelica. Sounds like a rug rat. I got teased as a kid. So, let's not go there and bring up some emotional trauma. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, just Angel's fine. Um, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I started my own cash based mobile practice in, um, well, the logistics are I, I got my uh, LLC end of January, started practicing and seeing patients end of February. Um, and ever since then, I've been, I've been on a roll, but I was working full time uh, when I started this. It was like a side hustle. And then I quit my job in mid March and then took my two weeks and then so. At the end of March, I was completely done and just focused on my business. So it's been a roller coaster. I've been learning so many things. It's crazy what you learn when you start a business. It's stuff they don't teach you in school, like everybody knows. And um, nope. it's, it's, it sends you on just the ride of your life. But I'm enjoying every step, and it's been great. So, And you have been such it. a help on this journey so far. So. Oh. No, and, well, oh, hey, say, say it again. I'm, say, I'm, say it again. I'm representing Cobar. There we go, baby. Representing Cobar. I love it. I love it. All these people. You have to do, I mean, I know Anthony. He's going to be wanting a pair of Cobars. I can tell you that right now. So, and Demir, he needs them with this CrossFit stuff. And by the way, can you see the comments that are coming up? I can. I can see everything. I'm. I've got. Okay, this good. Yeah, thing going going on. You know, you might not have it. So you got much. it figured out. Well, yeah. Buffy is jealous that you can at least kind of alter your name a little bit. Cause she's like, she's just Buffy. So, <laughs> but hey, Angel, tell us this. How did you get into PT to begin with? How did you get into physical therapy? So that's like a loaded question. Um, I come from a family of dentists. So going into my freshman year of college at Florida State, I, yeah, I know you had that little issue. Um, yeah. Going into my freshman year, I joined all these like free dentistry clubs and all this stuff. And I'm like, quickly realized, I'm like, yeah, this isn't for me. Like, I'm not going to be a dentist. I don't want to be like looking in people's mouths all day. No, thank you. Um, so I've always been into the body. Like I, oh, like my whole entire life, um, you know, in sports, working out, my family is the same way. And so one night at dinner, I was like 19 years old. I told my dad, I'm like, I just don't want to be a dentist. I want to be a physical therapist, you know? He's like, good for you. Go Herbie didn't want to be you know? a dentist. He wants to be an yeah. elf. <laughs> yeah. And, and another huge influence is my little brother. I have a 15-year-old brother who has cerebral palsy. So seeing him go through, you know, all the therapies and everything like that, I just had a lot of compassion towards that um, with him. And I just it really, like – open up the floodgates for PT for me, but I don't like peds. Sorry if you're a peds therapist. Uh, peds is not my thing. I mean, it's a great, you know, a great field, um, a great setting, but I'm, I'm more into the, the athlete and I, I, my niche is golfers. So yeah, I mean, I live in Jupiter, Florida and I golf myself, so it just makes perfect sense, you know? Nice. So, um, yeah, so your target audience is obviously probably the golfer. Yep. Tiger Woods nice. is actually my patient. Um, <laughs> what? You, you, you body for well, a second. So, You're like, wait, what? <laughs> what? No. What? No, I'm sure he has so, a very I'm going to talk good about team. that in a minute. But So you, you, you got into PT because you didn't want to be a dentist. You didn't want to be an elf. You didn't want to be a dentist. So you wanted to be a PT. But you didn't like peds. So what, what took you to, to being mobile? How did you end up in that world? So uh, straight out of school, I worked for a company for a year and a half um, who they have a fantastic, um, what they're trying to do for the world is great. After working in it for a year and a half, I decided I can't do this anymore. It's taking up all of my energy and just making me miserable. Um, so what I was doing was I was working in rehabs uh, helping people dealing with um, chronic pain who are addicted to opioids. We know that the opioid crisis is going on. So it's a very, very new setting. Um, and my company was really trying to target those people, help them, you know, recover from their addiction 
through physical therapy, making them, you know, feel better without drugs. Um, there's a lot that goes into that. It's not just uh, your opioid patient. You get, I mean, you get people that are in rehab for different reasons. That not everybody wants your help, and it takes a lot of energy and time and just I, I can't even describe to you how it catches up with you mentally and just exhausts you burns you out I mean I did everything I could for this company and it being a new setting there's not a lot of structure and they're going through a lot of growing pains so I try to help in those growing pains but it just wasn't working there was not a lot of backing by upper management you know they tried but it just wasn't it wasn't following through, so I, I can't, you know, stay in that kind of um, environment. It's not good for me, so I have to do what's best for me ultimately. And, you know, beginning of January, I sat at my computer one morning, and, you know, I knew about Greg Todd and all that, and I was like, I need a change. I joined SSPT, and I was thinking I was joining it, honestly, to help the company. Maybe I could, you know – find out some type of structure that works or, you know, whatever. Two weeks in, I realized, no, I'm doing this for myself. And I think the second week is when I got my LLC and I haven't looked back. So, yeah. And of course, nice. I love it. So you went from, go ahead. No, I was going to say you went from, from like kind of a, a drug addiction kind of thing to now you're working with people, golfers, right? Mm -hmm. So, Primary I mean, that didn't, I, didn't, I didn't just like pick a sport out of thin air. Like I wasn't just like, oh, golf, you know, I actually, I play golf right. myself. I enjoy it. That's like one of my favorite mm -hmm. hobbies. Um, and I live in Jupiter, Florida, which is like the golf capital of the world. So it just made sense. Our, our community is saturated with golf club, everybody, everywhere you look, like I was in a coffee shop the other day and everywhere you look people have like a tailor made hat on a title list you can pinpoint the golfers in the area and i mean even if you can't they probably still play golf you know what i mean everybody i talk to plays golf everybody i talk to that golfs has an issue has an injury or a pain or something and it just and and before i even decided to go with golfing um my stepdad and my stepbrothers are big golfers and my stepdad had a huge uh, problem with his low back. He had really bad pain, that reverse spine angle, you know. And I, I fixed him. And this is before all of me going mobile and all that stuff. And Wait, you worked, you worked on your dad? Stepdad. And you fixed him? Yeah. Your stepdad. But it was family. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what it was. It was your stepdad. Because I tell you, my family, man, they, they won't let me come near them. Now, they'll tell the world that I'm like the greatest therapist ever. But they won't let me get near them. So kudos to you for working on your stepdad. Yeah. So. Well, you know he's a pain in my butt, but he he's uh, his golf his golf game improved. So you know he's you know got me to thank for that, and I nice. remind him of that every day. <laughs> so. so with with that, and obviously, I mean, you kind of you you play golf, you have an interest in golf, so you saw like okay, I could work with these drug addicted people that just bring me down, or I could work with people something that. I have commonality with, and I love doing myself. Let's help these people because because golfers want to play good golf. Um, so that's what you did. Yeah. And, and with that, are you are you like currently involved in any community things? Oh yeah. With the golfers that you're doing. Uh, I so PGA National is right around the corner from my house. So there's tons of networking events there, like every day. Um, I've got I've just fully immersed myself in the networking game. And I met so many people from that. I mean, my second or third patient is on the LPGA tour. So, I mean, just from networking, just from knowing the right people. Um, I go to places. I, I did a golf tournament. I, um, I actually, I, I wasn't in it myself, but I had a tent, you know, providing value to the golf. The golfers would come to the tent and I would do, you know, a screening or give away um, my ebook or whatever for their information, you know. Um, I raffled off a, a, an eval, a discovery session. You know, you just got to give the, the people what they want, give them value, and then you build upon that and you build relationships that way. They respect that. And then word of mouth just kind of, it's like a trickle down effect. You know what I mean? So. Sure. Yeah. But like, so Buffy said, wow, what a switch, like from treating like drug addicts to treating golfers. Yeah. And that's something that resonates. What something Greg said resonated with me was, um, 
you know, you want to treat the people that are willing to get better and want to get better. And that was my goal. And that's what I targeted. And that's what I'm doing. So yeah. 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 Yeah, When you're, yeah, when you've got an audience of people who they want to invest in their health and they want to get better, it makes what we do so much easier. Mm -hmm. And you know, what I'm hearing a common theme with everybody that comes on to the highlight series show is it's all about relationships and you're building those, those relationships. Would you say that that, is what's worked for you in your marketing or what, what do you feel like has worked most the best for you in marketing? So social media, shout out to uh, Alex and Will. Thanks guys. You're the best. Um, definitely social media. I just started really kind of getting involved with um, doing videos and things like that. And I'll tell you, I have skyrocketed, um, my followers just from videos people want to see you they don't want to read boring texts they don't want to read a post that's like oh i gotta sit here no you gotta engage them and engage them quick and that's what a video does you know what i mean so ever since then people have been oh who is this golf girl who is it who's the golf doc you know what i mean and so the golf, the golf doc yeah yes. and then you know facebook um Facebook ads, and then you get the the networking events that I do. I meet people, um, and then it's just word of mouth. So yeah, I mean, you just really have to put yourself out there, and that's what I've been doing because before SSPT, I mean, I it's not even about SSPT, but that has helped me tenfold. Like I would, I didn't have the confidence to go out there to networking events and talk about physical therapy. I don't talk about physical therapy, but to market myself and my company and represent myself. No, no shot. I would never be able to do that. But now I can walk into a room and literally talk to anybody. And it's just, it's just amazing what you can do for yourself when you have that mindset. The mindset changes the game. So did you fall there or what happened? <laughs> no, sorry. My, my battery is, is telling me it's about to die. So I had to plug it into my computer. Gotcha. So I was just making sure it was on. Sorry about that. So nice. Yeah. Um, I just lost my train of thought. I know that's what happens when you get all this gray You're just hair. So engaged so, and, and all I have to say. <laughs> my battery's about to die. I'm like, can't I can't help that? My phone just died, and everybody be like, "What happened?" So we were talking about so, we were talking about marketing. So go back to that. Yes, I think I, yes. I think I answered no, you that. No, marketing, word of mouth. Yes, videos. Videos Love are so it. important, and I mean. I never knew the power of FaceTime, literally, and it's it's very powerful. I mean, Jenna Cantor, look at her. She's a freaking beast. So is Kaylee Garrett Zimmerman. I mean, oh, those, yeah. girls, those girls get on there and just do lives, do videos like it's nothing. Like they're talking to themselves in the mirror. It's great. And so they, uh, they really yeah. inspired me as well to, you know, jump onto this, this type of um, marketing. So, yeah. Nice. I love it. I love it. And, and what's, what's great is that we're watching each other, getting ideas. We're helping each other, helping each other succeed. And yes, yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. And I love it. I love what you're doing. Love what you're doing with your golfers. Cause I see your stuff. Kudos to you. For those of you who may or may not know, Angel has started a, a Facebook group that, oh, and it's I called to mention that. Yes. I started a Facebook group. It's called the golf doc, uh, pain elimination and injury prevention support group. So yeah, hop on Love that. It. Um, we're talking about stuff all the time. I'm posting all the time, so you'll love it. And I, um, I offer free advice. I mean, how did you beat that? So yeah, good stuff. I love it. I love it. The golf, the golf, the golf doc PT. The go not the golf doc PT, I... just the golf doc. No P. There's no PT in it. Oh, uh, well, but you're gonna be the golf doc. PT. That's true. I am. I got to, I got to have a name for everybody. Okay. You know, we got, we got you know, Liz. She's the trucker cat PT. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Fitz Herbert. You guys are going to meet Fitz Herbert. He loves to garden. I gave him his name today. He's going to be the green thumb PT because oh. he loves to garden. You're going to be the golf doc PT. Okay. Got <laughs> All it. Right. I love it. I love, I love it. it. I'll take it. So Obviously, I guess I take it your your cash. You're out of network. Your cash, not contracted with insurance, correct? Yep, I will never take insurance again. So. All right. So we all want to know. We always ask this: What is your answer to when the person says 
do you take my insurance? Yeah. How do you handle that? Because we're all struggling so, with how to better our answer. So first you got to get them engaged into who you are as a person, right? When you're talking to somebody and then they ask, you know, oh, well, what do you do? And then you explain, oh, blah, blah, blah. And then, oh, I, you know, my back's hurting or whatever the issue is. And they talk about it. Listen first. Listen to what they have to say. Don't jump into it and be like, I can help you. I got you, you know. Listen first. Answer last. <laughs> And then they get engaged, and then they go, oh, well, uh, do you happen to take uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield? Just name it an insurance company. And, and I'll say, well, let me ask you this. Is insurance the primary reason why you, would choose, why you would choose your physical therapist? And you get mixed answers. Most of the time, they say, no, that's not the only reason. Um, and if they say it's not the only reason, and I would say, well, good, because I offer my clients – a first class experience. I mean, do you want to fly first class or do you want to fly coach? Who wants to fly coach? Nobody, right? You pay, you know, and then you educate them on their insurance. You probably haven't met your deductible for the year. You go into that whole thing and then they're like, wow, yeah, that makes sense. I'm like, you pay a little bit more for quality of care because you go into those clinics, those cookie cutter uh, factories, and they're going to, number one, you're, you're going to take so much longer to get better. Um, you're gonna, your insurance will probably cut you off uh, you know, way before you're fully recovered. And then, you know, us, us as physical therapists get a bad rep for that. Um, I don't say that, but, um, but we do. And because <laughs> we're not getting them better when that happens, the insurance game, they have been the big fish and, and, and in a little pond or the, whatever the saying goes for too long. And they're starting to push us away and everybody's starting to convert to this cash based type of practice. And this is where we deliver quality, real quality of care that gets the patient better in a fraction of the time. You might be paying a little bit more, but you're paying it in, le in, in less amounts of time. You know what I mean? So in the long run, it's better for you. Yep. And you have easier access to us. You know, I, my patients can text me throughout the day uh, asking me questions, which they do all the time. And I'm always there to answer, always. You cannot get that if you go to, you know, some Joe Schmo down the street who has a clinic. He's not after five o'clock. Bye. See ya. Don't call. Don't text. You right. know what I mean? So, you know, I'm right, invested right. in my patient's recovery and I really give off that vibe. I give off that passion and people can tell. So I'm able to convert patients that way. Um, ultimately. And, and, you know, you've got to give them the little, like, well, you want to fly first class or coach, you know, and that really gets them. So, <laughs> you know, I'm always afraid to fly first class because I like those little bag of peanuts you get in coach. And what if they don't give you those peanuts in first Listen, class? You so get that's free drinks in first class. So quit your complaining. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. Know, you know what? You know what? I, you know what I love about your answer of, of of the conversation you have with the client about this is what you get. You know, you you, you text me, you call me, I'm going to answer. You know, I'm not five o'clock. I'm I'm out the door. You know, that is, uh, you, you're given that explanation. I'm sitting here thinking, man, here in town, these concierge docs, that's exactly what they sell on is that, you know what, here's what you get for, for paying me is you get access to me, 24 hour access to me. You know, you get my phone number, you know, you get this and that. And so you've taken their selling point of how they've attracted people yep. and included it into your you know, your marketing scheme of, hey, here's what you get that you don't get by going to the establishment having a third party pay. Yeah. So that's pretty brilliant, girl. I'm going to have to steal that little strategy. Yeah. Nice. And that and people, that's why I ask everybody that comes on is how do you answer the question? Because you're going to get different answers and you're going to get great ideas to help you. That's why I have this whole TV series yeah. is to get ideas to help people. So, man, Angel, that is brilliant. Yeah. Love it been working so go ahead and try it let me know how it works for you i'm curious because you know that's right i don't really hear other other cash pay pay uh pts what they say so i kind of like <laughs> right 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 this on my own huh. so yeah but um I don't know, i'm just yeah i'm just afraid if i give them the whole first class or coach analysis they'll probably tell me uh I fly business class on Lufthansa <laughs> or I have my own private airplane or something. So. Well, who are you treating? <laughs> then, then they, they don't even well, need, they, I'm treating Tiger Woods. Who are you? Treating? Yeah. I mean, if they have their own jet, like, geez, they need a, 
PT just for the jet. I mean, you could be that guy. <laughs> yes. And yes, Kaylee, we're going to make this a Netflix show. All right. It's going to be pay-per-view. <laughs> no, it's going to be probably like beach one. Actually, I'll probably end up being like, where are they now? Where are they like now? So. Yes. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this big question. I mean, you're doing awesome stuff. You're working with the golfers. You're in Jupiter. You're involved in the community. Um, I, I've seen you at events. You have these awesome little golf tees and golf balls and stuff that you give away. Um, but at the end of the day, what do you want your legacy to be? So I of what you've done. I really want the general population to know what we do as physical therapists. We're not massage therapists. You know, we have the stereotype surrounding us that says, oh, well, can I get a massage? And, and I know we all hate that, right? We all hate that. Or should I go see the chiropractor for my back? Like, that's the worst. You know what I mean? So I just want more education and awareness out there to people of what we do and what we can provide the patient with. You know, we treat the root of the problem, the, the, the cause, essentially. I, I want someone to come in my office. I find out the, the root of the problem, treat the whole body, not just your elbow, if you have elbow pain, I'm treating the whole upper arm and the neck, you know what I mean? Um, and I, I want them to get to reach their goal and get discharged. I don't want them there forever, you know what I mean? That's how you do business, that's how people, you know, that's how word of mouth works. If you're gonna help the patient to get back where they wanna be, you're gonna get five new patients, 10 new patients from, from that. So it's not about keeping them in the clinic every week, three times a week, you know, like some other practices do. It's about getting them better, doing genuine, good quality of care and business, and you're set. You know what I mean? But we as physical therapists need to be treat or need to be uh, educating the population about what it is we do. Because people, yes. again, we get that massage therapist stereotype or then let me go to my chiropractor stereotype. And I just, it just has been a big, um, I don't know. I'm bothered by it. I'm really bothered by that. So, you know, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't stick my two cents in when people say that I don't get aggressive. I just educate very, you know, in a nice manner and a pleasant manner. And I just say, well, you do realize we do X, Y, and Z as well. And this is how I would go about it if you came to me. So, you know, I'm going to, you want to get from not being able to play golf because you have back pain to be getting on the course, going to the driving range. This is where you're at. This is what we need to do to get you there. And I can do that for you. Okay. If you want massage, you know, we can, we can work in some soft tissue stuff because you're going to need that, but it's not massage essentially, you know, um, and, and people just, they eat that up so it works but right. we all need to come together and we really need to be like you know just through social media whatever outlet you can just make sure people know what we do as physical therapists we're doctors and we're not getting that recognition people don't people go oh you're a doctor i didn't know that I'm like yeah, I spent a lot of money. <laughs> um, yeah, we're doctors. We, you know what I mean? We need that recognition. We need people to know that. And we need people to know we can help them. That's the most important part. So that's, that's what I want to leave behind as my legacy. Yep. And, and, you know, and that's the beautiful thing about what we do as mobile is that most of us who are mobile, we are cash based, which means we are concierge. And to the public, concierge means that we're bringing to them a higher level of education, higher level of service, that added touch, you know, exactly what you just talked about, you know, with your, with your patients. And, um, you know, with that, it, it, it's, it's how we can ed go directly to the public and educate them. Whereas oftentimes, a lot of times, you know, the establishments, you know, they're not, yeah, they're advertising to the public, but they're not educating the public the way that we have the freedom to yeah so you're you're taking it to a whole nother level i'm, I'm trying to do big it. things cap i'm trying to get there and uh you're i'm watching you failure's you're not an option things, so girl. we're gonna we're gonna change the way the world views pt we're gonna change that insurance game you know we're gonna just we're gonna take over so you just watch yep yep Anybody have any questions yeah, before questions. we uh, before my phone dies here? Anybody have any questions they'd like for Miss Angel here? Again, she's uh, 
a physical therapist down in Jupiter, Florida. If you've just logged on, it's Angel Napolitano. She's in Jupiter, Florida. She loves golf. Her perfect patient is the golfer. She's helped a lot of people down there be able to just add length to their drives, you know, lower their, their, uh, um, you know, their score by, uh, you know, a stroke or two. Um, she's even got some LPGA people that she's working with. Um, she's trying to get in with Tiger Woods, I believe. Maybe even Roy McIlroy yeah, or, I mean, they all live or uh, one of those guys. But you have a, a sponsorship with Puma too, don't you? I do. So Ricky, you work, Ricky was just over yeah, the other night, and he, you know, Ricky, he was yeah. chatting mm-hmm. over dinner, and so no I'm kidding. But they all, they all live. <laughs> so like, all those guys live here. You know, I don't. You know, I don't seek them. Yeah. There's no way. Like, I don't care about that stuff. That's not my Oh, game. come on. You don't have to be humble with us. We know. We know the truth. That's, that's not my game plan. You know what I mean? I just want the casual, <laughs> normal person golfer. But, hey, I mean, you come my way, I'm not going to say no. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think uh, Celia, she brought, she made a very good statement here. She needs to be more vocal about her education. And, you know, patients and physicians alike really don't know how well-educated we are in City is exactly right. They really don't. Um, you know, I. How many times have, have I talked to orthos and they don't even believe in people going to physical therapy? And I believe it doesn't do anything for them. Um, but yeah, and, and honestly, Celia, uh, you know, patients they don't know what physical therapy is. They don't know what we do. Um, so keep keep talking. Keep being vocal. Be confident. In it, all right. I mean, look at Angel. She's confident with how she talks to her people, and boom, she just not only exploding with her business, but she's, you know, she's impacting the community and that's awesome. I mean, and a lot of times too, people think, Oh, physical therapy is just after surgery. Like I just need to be rehabilitated and get better and I'm gone, which yes, that's very true, but that's not all. That's, that's just a small portion of what we do. So that's another, sure. that's another one. Um, fortunately my, um, PC, my primary care physician, I have a pretty good rapport with him. And uh, we talk, and anytime I go see him, we talk a lot. I tell him, you know, what I'm doing. And he's like, you, you're brilliant. You're brilliant for what you're doing. And, like, I respect him so much more for, like, acknowledging that. He's like, you're brilliant for what you're doing because I wish I could go cash base. I'm sick of these insurance companies throwing me, you know, for a loop and just, you know, dragging me through the mud. And I wish I could go cash base. But he's, like, old. He's about to retire. He's like, it's no point now. You know what I mean? Um, he's like, but he, yep. you know, I don't try to get referrals, referrals out of him. He just offers, he's like, give me your cards. I'm going to refer patients to you. So, I mean, you know, again, relationships, relationships with people. Yep. Relationship, relationships. Always be talking because you never know where a referral might come from. Yep. Kaylee so. says, Hey, I have to- Kaylee has a question. She's raising her hand. I got a yep. question. Hey Kaylee. Okay. Hi, I have a question. How did you decide on your niche? So, Um, Again, I am a golfer myself. I enjoy golf. Um, I live in Jupiter, Florida. We're saturated with golfers who need physical therapy services like you wouldn't believe. Um, I know the body. I'm a physical therapist. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. So it just made sense. You know what I mean? I know the game. If I didn't know the game or I didn't play, that would kind of be silly. I wouldn't go for that. But I do. Um, and like I said, my stepdad plays my, all my stepbrothers. I grew up with five boys. I'm the only girl. So, uh, yeah, I have that little advantage. Um, you know, I don't know. I just, that was just, it just clicked for me. I didn't even, you know, really had to think hard about it. I just clicked and that's, it, it was so organic, um, that it just, I went with it and it's been great. So, yeah, that's, how, that's I love it. And for those who maybe just logged on again, what Angel did was that she, she was working in a place where it attracted a lot of just drug addicted people, opiates, whatnot. She didn't like that. I wouldn't like that either. But she, she's talking about she played golf. She grew up around golfers. But she, you know, her niche was she found what she loves to do. And she took a passion of hers and made it into her profession and work with those people. So that's really kind of the take home point for those of you who are maybe just getting started out in mobile. If you're thinking about being mobile or maybe just think about opening, you know, brick and mortar, but you don't know who to target, you know, think about what you love to do. And, and there's an audience out there. I mean, I was telling somebody last night, man, if you love to, if you love to, I don't know, 
catch butterflies. There's going to be a whole population of people out there that butterfly, butterfly catchers. catchers with <laughs> wrist injuries, butterfly catchers with wrist injuries, and elbow injuries. Okay. So you, they're going to be there. So man, just take your passion and yeah, you know, maybe it's, you like to gamble, you know, so it's all these crap shooters and <laughs> yeah. you know, wrist injuries. Yeah. So they're out there. That'll so get you. Take your, take your passion turn it into a profession. That's what this girl right here has done. She's successful. She's got LPGA people on her schedule. She's got golfers galore from Jupiter on her schedule. She can't even keep up with all the work. So she even got golf tees and golf balls with her name on it. Man, I don't have golf tees and golf balls. I think you, awesome. I think you got a little golf ball at SSPT Live. I believe I gave you one. I got one of yours, yeah. but I don't have one with my name on it. Well, so, that's... You're big time. You know. I think I got it. Right show the people. Yeah. Show the people the golf ball. Come on. I bring out Let the me find. I got it right here. What do I do with it? I know I got it. Hold on. Hold on, people. Of course, now, now you tell me. And you put me well, on the spot. Piss poor planning, David. And wait, I, I should have had it out already. I, I know. I know. I know. It, I should have. You know what? I know where it is. It's in my. It's in my backpack from. From SSPT Live, and honestly, what happens? My wife comes in here and cleans up the the, the office, and I don't know where anything is. I don't know what she did. With I forgive it. you. I so, forgive you. I know you had. I know uh, you. I know you hold that. No, I, I got it. I have it. But no, it's a cool little golf ball. It's got optimal on there, and yep. optimal tees. physical therapy and wellness, Jupiter, Florida, baby. <laughs> yeah. Gambling PT, that's something to consider. Gambling PT, I love it. Yeah. Anyhow, well, Angel, man, you're awesome, man. Thank you for coming on. I loved hearing your story. I love hearing how you have built your practice. I've seen you building it online. Um, you Again, those of you just logged on, she, Angel now has a, a Facebook group called the... The Golf, Golf Doc Pain Elimination and Injury Prevention Support Group. So go ahead and uh, join. Yes. It's a fun little group. Join, join. She said, she said there's great information on there, great exercises for people. So, you know, those of you, you know, you, you might say, well, golf's not my thing, but you know what? You're always going to have some golfers coming in your clinic or working with you. So it's a great way to get yourself a little bit more educated through Angel so that you can impress your people and sell them even more, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you nailed it. I love it. Well, Angel, this has been awesome. Everybody, thank you for logging on. This is David Bailiff, Bailiff Integrator Wellness, owner creator of the Mobile PT League. This has been your Thursday Thursday. Thirst for some Angel Napolitano knowledge yep, on maybe. Mobile PT and working with the golfers. Thank you, everyone. We're going to see you again soon. Thanks for having me. Bye, guys.